here. Welcome to Meredith 357. So as you know, welcome to uh, Microsoft Paint. It's where Meredith 357 creates her thumbnails. And this is the one that she created today. It's uh, My Honor Friends and Princess Charm School. It's the video that was posted today. I don't know why. That it's me. I am famous. Of course, I know I'm famous at all, but I don't know why I'm so excited. So I'm going to teach you guys how to create a perfect thumbnail for YouTube videos that you'll do in the future. Started, you'll want to go to this little blue tab here. Oops, sorry. Uh, you want to go to new. And just a little quick tip for you guys. Don't do your thumbnails two megabytes bigger because that's what messes it up. Okay, thank you, Mal. So see these things? Like just shrink it to make it smaller. Create a picture. Anyway, here's an example of how I find pictures. This is a website that I found a year ago. Where I find a lot of descendants pictures. Let me just show you the album of all of them. Just let me go to shortcuts. Okay, so this is all of our descendants photos. Like, you can choose whatever you want. You can start from the sentence 3 or 2 or 1. Oops, it went too far. 2 or 1. Let's just say you want to make a picture with a background. Let me just type in an example. Let's just say, for example, you want to do a setting of a ballroom. Okay, you just want to do, you like, right click. I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, copy. Go back to paint. And then I paste it on here. You don't want to make it too, too big. Because, um, you know how YouTube always says, Oh, you can't have two megabytes big. So, like, if you want to add the send pictures or other pictures, you just, like, slide this little tool thing so you can have more room. Okay, and now let's go back to the pictures. Let's just say you want to add someone dancing in the ballroom. Okay, let me find a picture that's really nice. Okay. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, let's say you want to do this one. Yeah, I mean, this is very cute. I mean, I love Mountain Bay, they are my favorite. Okay, sorry, back to the topic. Okay, you want to copy it, do paste by just clicking on that little clipboard. And yeah, if it gets too big, you can just shrink it. Okay, like that. Okay, this one is so tricky. Actually, it really was. It like takes a long time to do it. Yeah, thank you, Mel. Okay, so you see this little rectangle thing? Um, it's like you like do this like this, and then you drag it. But here's an easier way. You go to freeform selection, and it's gonna take a while, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Just Okay, so I did the little circle thing. Watch this. See how I cut it apart? I know it doesn't look good. I mean, I tried. Just try to make them together. Okay. So, they're in the ballroom. And what you want to do, if you want to make it smaller, you just grab this little handle right here. And then... You have a thumbnail, and you can just save it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it um, dancing. Okay, now for the finishing touch, you got the thumbnail option. See this? This is mine that I created. I'm just gonna show you how it works with the example I did. Type it here. Okay. See? It works. All you have to do is make it look like this. So, guys, don't want to make your background too big or too small because that's how it messes it up. Thank you, Mal. And I'm going to show you an example. Another one that I did. Okay, here's one. This is, I don't know what day I created it, but it was a while. It was the Cinderella Story trailer. See how I added the pictures into the background? It's actually pretty easy, but it's hard. Just so you know, just with the little line circle. So if it's this one, just so you know. So if ever you guys mess up, if you feel bad, like you could just go to this reverse button 
and just go back to where you started. But if you want to do this, redo it, you can do that. Just in case you don't start over. And also, you have your paints. You can do editing colors if you want to. Just to, like change the color however you want. You got shapes in case you want to add any words and stuff. There's the text, bucket of paint, pencil, eraser, a color picker, and a magnify glass. And if I were you, if you're creating a background, I recommend using this. Or if you want, you can use your whatever you want. You don't have to follow my advice if you don't want to. So this website will be on my YouTube description page. Whenever you do, guys, don't copy each other's backgrounds because that's just wrong. And just be creative. Make it your own. Okay? So if you guys don't want to make your own background, you can always use a picture from Google. You can type in whatever you want on here. I mean, you don't have to do what I do. You can make it your own. Here's another example. I did Mal and Ben's gazebo dance. I kind of made it look like a storybook because I created this video in March. So I had them look like they were walking down the stairs into the gazebo to start their dance. And I added the words on here. I just did it in a different color. Of course, I'll show you again. You can just edit colors. You can pick a color. You can play along with this little tab and was sorry. You can play with this tab. Why isn't that doing it when I want? And you, okay, so you can play this tab. And you can do whatever color that you want to do for your words. If you want to give it a title, you can. Here, let me show you. Just say I want to do like this color. Let's say. You want to put Mal and Ben doing ball and dancing. I don't know what that's. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with my spacing? Okay. Yeah, like that. And there's like different fonts. You can also do that too. You can change whatever font you want. And if it's too small, you can go to the size. If you want it bold, you can do this. Italian. Oh, wait, not Italian. I mean, italic. You could do that. You could do underline and strike through. I don't know what that means, but I haven't used it yet. You do transparent. You can do whatever you want on here. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to put for this example. Ah, okay. There we go. And when you're done, you can click home and you can click this button and it will show up just like this. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I spelled dancing wrong. Oh my gosh. So if you mess up, just hit the undo button. You can start over. Sorry about that. I'm just recording while I do this. Let me just do it again. Okay, Mel and Ben doing ballroom dancing. Okay, so now you can figure out this is spelled correctly. Okay. Okay, hang on. I forgot. Okay, so you could do it like that. Okay, that's it for this tutorial video on Microsoft Paint. And if you have any questions or concerns about Microsoft Paint, you could comment down below in the comments. Okay, Mel, you ready to say goodbye? Yeah! Bye, guys! Have fun with Microsoft Paint your thumbnails! Why did I just step on the keyboard? Jeez!